In a special month-long Eye on America series, we're focusing on the presidential candidates' positions on key issues this election year. Education spending is certainly one of them, and Wyatt Andrews looks tonight at the difference between the Bush and Kerry plans and finds out what does it mean to you. Cassie Anderson was one of Ohio's most gifted teachers until last month when a state budget crisis forced her district to fire 20% of its teachers. What are you thinking right now? Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? To her principal, Cassie didn't just teach, she rescued. She took students that, that were failing and worked with them individually to help them uh, become successful. They're going to miss out on their education is what they are going to miss. Statewide, Ohio will be missing 3,000 laid-off teachers this fall. And even though the budget crisis had been brewing for years, the teachers' union also blames President Bush, saying he underfunded his program called No Child Left Behind. It just exacerbated the problems that we already had. Gary Allen, president of the union, says there's a huge gap in what Congress authorized for No Child Left Behind and what was spent a $614 million gap that made the state deficit worse. The underfunding of No Child Left Behind uh, just magnifies that in terms of having to lay off even more staff. The promise of No Child Left Behind has been broken. John Kerry has said that if he's elected president, there won't be a funding gap from No Child Left Behind, that every education dollar promised to the states will be delivered to the states. I'm going to guarantee that we fund No Child Left Behind. But the Bush campaign says Kerry and the union have left the facts behind. They point out that compared to President Clinton, Mr. Bush's education spending in Ohio has meant an additional $206 million. We've increased federal spending by 49% for public schools since I got sworn in. And what's changed is we're now saying, show us whether or not a child can read. I think that's an excellent beginning. In the okay, Columbus suburb of Westerville, Superintendent George Tombaugh says that increased federal spending is real money. It's 1.5 million, thanks to No Child Left Behind, for early and special education. So to me, to meet the very needy students in our district, I think that's the type of support we need. The president says higher standards, not just dollars, are the answer in education. John Kerry says he would keep the standards and spend billions more. Still, in a cash-strapped state like Ohio, Kerry could spend every nickel and not have enough to rehire Cassie Anderson. In Barnesville, Ohio, Wyatt Andrews for Eye on America.